Hi everyone, my name's Chloe, I work for Groundwork South and Cold Valley Regional Park and I'm here today to explain to you guys how we do our non-native invasive species surveys across the park. First off, it's really easy, it's really fun, you can do it with your friends and your family, it's just a great way to get out and enjoy your local green spaces. Before you start, all you need to do is drop an email to our Colm Valley team at colmvalley at groundwork.org.uk to register as a volunteer and get your survey stretch. So once you've done that, you'll be given a map of your survey stretch like this. So next is the survey. What do you do? We're looking for four key invasive species and we're looking for them at four different months throughout the summer. So in June, you're looking for giant hogweed. In July, you're looking for Himalayan balsam. In August, you're looking for floating pennywort. And in September, you're looking for Japanese knotweed. So we're looking for those species during those months as are the easiest to identify them. Now you know how to do the survey. You have your survey area as well. You have your map, so you're ready to go. So you head to site, and the first thing we need to ask you to do when you head to site is to do a dynamic risk assessment to make sure it's safe to continue to do the survey and you're happy to do so. Once you've completed that and you're happy, safe to continue to do the survey, all you need to do is walk along your survey stretch and look out for your target species that month. Once you find one of your target species, you can report it by using two different methods. Method number one is by doing a live report while you're out on site. To do this, you need to use a web application, which you can find at cvfc.org.uk slash nnis. And here you can take a photo and upload all of your relevant information, as well as using geolocation so it can take an exact location of where you are. The second method to report your sightings is by using an application called What Three Words. You can download the app and use it offline when you're out doing your surveys. All you need to do is when you spot something, stop, open the app, take a photo of it and it will record the location as well as the photo so that when you're back at home you can upload it at a later time. And that's it, that's the whole survey complete. And when you have completed it, before you leave site, all you need to do is send a message to the Colm Valley team to let you know you've completed the survey, but also, more importantly, you need to check yourself for any seeds or any vegetation that might be attached, as biosecurity is very important and we don't want to spread these species to new environments. So all you have to do is check clean and dry. Check your clothes, clean with any materials, and make sure they're dry and clean for your next journey to a green space. And that's everything. A massive thank you to everyone that can help out. The data you're collecting is incredibly valuable. It helps us monitor where all of the invasive species are across the park, map them, locate them, understand how they're spreading, where they're spreading, but also control them together. So really, thank you so much for your help, guys. Um, check out our website for more information or to sign up at colmvalleyregionalpark.org.uk. And thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye.